the number one mistake that my busy, high-performing executive clients were making when trying to lose weight on their own. So tell me if this sounds familiar. You just spent the last 12 months stressed out beyond belief, trying to keep the lights on at work, trying to make sure that you don't have to lay anybody off, and trying to make the finances fit during a global pandemic. The healthy eating habits you once had were replaced by skipping meals and now ordering out for the rest of your meals. Your 60 minute gym routine was stripped from you and then you were left to try to figure out on your own what sort of fitness routine to do. The little time that you used to take to rest your body, recover and sleep was replaced by sleepless and stress filled nights. Needless to say, this combo was not good for your body. Your pants are fitting tighter and your energy level, boom, nowhere to be found. Most busy professionals now are trying to overcompensate and work out harder and diet harder than ever to try to make up for the last 12 months of being off track. But the reality is, this is actually the number one reason why most executives are gonna be more stressed out and still never see progress in weight loss. Right now, for a lot of people, it's the timing where they're starting to feel like the light is at the end of the tunnel and that they might have the ability to start making their health a priority again. But honestly, for a lot of people, they're so far from where they once were that they don't know where to start. So I often get asked what type of workouts are best for weight loss and what should I eat to start seeing those results. The easy and the honest answer is it really does depend. But here's what I can tell you based on many conversations with stressed out yet extremely driven high level executives. When it comes to weight loss, the method that most people resort to is this, eat less food and work out harder, especially for busy people. While I don't agree with this as a blanket statement at all, it does work for some people in the short term. Again, this is not a sustainable mindset or plan for long-term health, but I do know that over the years, it's definitely been appealing for many. Well, I'm sorry to say that even this type of quick fix thought process rarely is going to work for my high-level performing executive clients. If you're cutting calories and trying to destroy yourself with brutal Peloton rides or insane workout videos and still not losing weight, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Number one mistake that my high performing executive clients are making when trying to lose weight is that they're over stressing their bodies. Think about it like this. You're stressed out at work, you're burning the wick at both ends in your home life, you're sleeping less and less, and for the most part, you're internalizing all of these struggles because you're at the top of your organization. And let's be real, it gets lonely at the top. So now you're gonna to start depriving yourself from the calories that your body needs in order to function, and you're trying to do these overly intense workouts because you think that you need to feel destroyed in order to lose weight. This is only adding stress on top of your already stressed out body, which is not a good thing. That's why I see so many people that are working out and eating relatively healthy that still can't seem to lose weight, regardless if it's 20 plus pounds or just trying to lose the last five to seven pounds no matter how hard they're trying. They're essentially just working against themselves. So that's why I implement these two strategies with each one of my stressed out and busy clients. Number one, we need to prioritize and schedule the most effective, not the most grueling type of fitness routine for your exact goals and develop a nutrition plan that keeps you feeling full while losing weight. If these two pieces aren't appropriately structured, they're likely just gonna get put onto the back burner. Number two, we need to monitor recovery in order to develop the habits that will lead to an actual strategy to optimize your sleep, while not necessarily needing to just sleep more. We also monitor the strain that your body is accumulating throughout your everyday activities and throughout your workouts. More is not always better in most cases, and if your workouts are too intense, they're not gonna be giving you the results that you expect and the results that you're hoping for. So, whether you're unable to see progress losing 20 plus pounds or you're just sick of spinning your wheels trying to ditch the last five pounds, chances are you might be in a workout routine that isn't actually right for your busy and your stressful lifestyle. So if you'd like to bounce your routine off of a fitness and nutrition professional, DM me and we'll make sure to connect from there.